Let's see it in action again. Collect the power and wait for the cycle, which will be in a few seconds. The glass is empty. Okay, connected power again. A few seconds, we will see it working. Aha! This is more than enough. Let's see it again in action. The power bank was shut down because the current flow is uh, too small, so I had to power it on and it will continue again. Great. This is exactly what I need. Thank you. About next videos. Next videos will be about few things. I will uh, add video about using oscilloscope and the limitation of oscilloscope and I will give some details how it is working in how can we know if the scope is good enough for us? Also, I will upload video about the second dashboard cam that I got, which cost about $40. I didn't test it yet. And also about something very nice, which is home automation. I have in my house home automation switches which are Livolo type, L-I-V-O-L-O, -O, and I have a way to hack them, <laughs> which I was, uh, I want to do it for a long time. And uh, the hacking is very simple because someone did all the good job for us and we just need to use it. And I will show, I tried it and it is actually working. What is giving us? It is giving us the ability to control the outlet power with Arduino and transmitter. Okay, this is very nice feature. So, for example, if you are not at home, you can make the lights uh, light automatically when you are not at home. And this is a very, very nice feature that, by the way, I am going to use from time to time. Also, I will add more video about more sensor and other things, so keep tuned. Thank you.